Today we have on the show Miss Beverly Neal Clinton, who is just an amazing person. I've already done the interview, guys, but I just had to come back on. She talks about zero taxes. We kind of touch on trusts, which we're probably going to be getting into later on down the line. You don't want to miss this interview. She is a Beverly Hills. Um, she started her journey in South Carolina, where it took her all around the world. And I know that she is into this thing with getting you back the money that you deserve. And not only that, helping you to see that you're worth more than what you really think. Hold tight, guys. We got a great show for you today. My name is Beverly Neal Clinton. I'm the director of African American Trust. I am a senior executive trust officer. I'd like for us to change our thoughts and change how we react instead of running away from the IRS. I want us to run towards the IRS. And when I say run with the same amount of gusto that you turn away from it, I want you to do a 180 and know that this can be something totally new for you. I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? Man, I am telling you, today is going to be a day that I am going to, I'm probably going to learn a lot today because I am one of those people that ran away. <laughs> it's like, here, here your money is. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to deal with nothing. Did, did you, you got a letter from the what? Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's me. But now I think Miss Beverly's going to help me change my mind. She's an amazing person who's here to help us all run towards financial freedom, maybe. Yes. Maybe a, a bigger paycheck. I mean, yes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and welcome Miss Beverly Neal Clinton to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Miss Diamond. I am beyond excited. Um, as we talked about a little bit ahead of the show, this is a grassroots movement. It is a quiet storm that we're creating. I am looking for everyone to come and join me in the creation. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to title this because run toward the IRS. I think people will be like, oh, no, I ain't walking out. I mean, you know. <laughs> listen, listen, An another way to say it and people aren't, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I I remember those days when I would get the letter from the IRS and thinking, what now? Yeah. And it's like, no, I if I get anything now, it's like, oh, that means I'm getting money back. Yes, we're so good. Um, so another way that we can look at that is mm -hmm. if I ask you, do you like paying taxes? Uh. <laughs> it was like a whole bunch of stuff just went through my mind and I just I, I know it, it was visceral. You felt it, right? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. We don't. I don't know. I, I had to a few times. I hate it. Well, you know what? Here, I'm not going to say that that we commiserate in our memories, but I will tell you this: you're not alone. Mm. And and in not being alone, there is some strength in that. And I really want you to understand, you and your listeners, actually, for for that matter, to understand that my grandmother used to have a saying: "You do better when you know better." Mm -hmm. It is my intent that not only I do better, but that we all do better, uh, which is why the name of our plan is Tax Zero Plan. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to give I you like some time. Oh, we like zero. We like, like zero. zero. <laughs> we like refund. We like rebate. We like we all of those. Re. 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 See how I have your attention? Okay. Yeah. We, 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 we. So, <laughs> so I want, so here's a foundation for okay. what this program is. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do is based on the U.S. IRS tax code, every single thing. Mm. So it's not like we're going back and recreating and imagining. As my partner, Dr. Fran McGuire says, and by the way, he's the one that came up with this 35 years ago. Um, we take their bullets and then we shoot them with it. Mm. This plan was developed for Wall Street brokers back in the 80s when they were at the 46 percentile they were asking how do we keep more of our money yeah and this is the plan that they used 
that we now have access to. Granted, it's 30 years later, that but the matter. tax code is still the same. And that's what we use. Mm. Um, when, when I say that it is very possible for you to give yourself a pay raise by using this plan, that's what we mean. Could you imagine with this plan, you will have 70% more of spendable income because you will know how to use that money. Okay, wait, stop, stop. <laughs> Hold on, oh, stop, stop, wait. Hold on a second. I'm trying to grasp this. Okay, look, so look, 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 here you go, wait. here you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Time out. Hold on. So, okay, uh, does it matter how much you make? I mean, you're working for someone else. I mean, McDonald's employee. I mean, does it matter? Yes, it does. And let me explain how. If you have a W-2, normally everyone with a W-2 is putting in their 401k. Mm -hmm. But in the economy that we're living in now, which is what we call the gig economy, everybody has a side hustle. Everybody got a gig. Now, those gigs and those side hustles, and if you don't have one after this, you're going to want to go get one. And it could very well be the tax zero plan, which is, again, my plan. You, if you have a 1099, if you receive your monies in any shape, form, or fashion as a 1099. So let me give you some examples of a 1099. <laughs> you, hello, great, yeah, raise your hand. Tell your listeners to raise their hands too. Both of them. Raise your hands. Right. Raise your hands. <laughs> Again, <laughs> this is gonna be another thing that you're gonna run toward that 1099. A lot of people run away from it because they're like, oh, I have to pay my quarterly taxes. I Doesn't matter. None of that matters because when you have the tools to crosswalk whatever your deduction is, which is what we give you, we give you specific codes that say, this code says, I can do that. Yes, I'm taking this deduction. So again, another thing that you run towards, when you are employed as a 1099 employee, that is like, that is like, did you see the movie Willy Wonka? Yeah. Remember when he got the gold ticket? I do. That's I it. wanted the gold ticket. You got the gold ticket. Hey, what? You, see, that's even better that you got it and you don't know it. Hey. Okay. But see, that, but see, Explain. I'm explaining. Explain. As a result of your having a 1099, you literally open the door for so many tax deductions. I'm going to give you one quick one. And this is, again, an example of what we do when we talk about how the tax zero plan works. So under section 162 of the IRS codes, 162C1 specifically states, any expenditure that a taxpayer makes in order to increase their net worth or lower their tax liability by virtue of education, reading or recorded material, whether copyrighted or not, shall be fully tax deductible in the year so expended. Stop it. So, so, so having said that, our plan is 949. It is a lifetime, you get it forever and ever, any updates. But that plan is actually tax deductible because it, fail into increasing their net worth or lowering their tax liability by virtue of education, which is what this is. It falls in that. So you can pay yourself for learning something more that will increase your net worth. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. I'm, 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 I'm here, I'm, I'm here. I'm just thinking of all the money. Okay, that's, that's a. I mean, that's so a, what, what? Wait, wait, wait. So, how many years back can you claim this? <laughs> I think I think you can go back two years, but I'm not sure. But you know what? That question right there is a great segue because let me tell you why. If you, if you, if you use the tax zero plan over a 25 year span, mm. it can reduce your taxes by 650,000 and 
build your retirement income up to 925,000. I'm not with you yet. Hold on a second. <clears throat> and each business that you have, each business that has a separate EIN can then have that up to $74,458 in deductions per business. Now, let's say you're a small business owner and you own a landscaping firm. So by virtue of that, you're going to get your 1099s. And as the owner of the business, you can create your own solo 401k and put another $20,500 into that, which will go towards retirement. That's okay, good... wait, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Wait, time out. You can open up your own 401k and you it's okay. Wait, wait. So wait, wait, wait. So I've heard of, okay. I've heard that 401ks um, back in the day when the economy hit and all that, a lot of people lost all their 401k because they had it in the, in the, in the business that they were in and they lost a lot of money in their 401k. But if you put it into your own 401k, will you lose it? No, you will mm. not lose it. So again, and, and, and I'm going to make, and this is going to make you really, really smile. So let's say your partner is in business with you as well. Mm -hmm. They can also put in $20,500. And then you, as their employer, can match that $20,500. $20, and now you get the deduction in your solo 401k of $41,000. What you talking about, Willis? I'm talking to you. Hence my grasp. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Now I want you to think about one more thing. I want I want you and your listeners to think about these six questions. Mm -hmm. And I really want y'all to ponder them because I wanted to like like a good stew. I want it to meld into your body. Now listen to this. From what you have seen or heard, do you find value in the plan that I'm talking to you about? Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Out loud, yes. please. Yes. Anyways, thank you. Do you believe this plan can greatly reduce the effects of current day inflation? You know, I think inflation is, a, is, is, is probably something that's uh, kind of undercover good. Hence my asking you, what if inflation is a good thing? What if, okay, so what do you mean by that? So when we talk about inflation, mm -hmm. what we tend to think about is, let me get to it. We tend to think about, there's two ways to look at inflation. One is through general economics, through you know the price of gas, medicine, um, expenditures, things like that. Um, but what applies to us more, and this is what we call kitchen, kitchen table inflation. That's like food, clothing, rent, mortgages, doctor visits. Those are the things that tend to affect us more because those are everyday things. We don't think about the big picture, but cumulatively, that's inflation for us because you're paying more for at the grocery store, you're paying more at the pumps. Mm -hmm. But using the tax zero plan, when you know what the cross references are for your deductions, that's what increases your spendable income so that inflation is not affecting you mm. because you're getting more money back. Does that make sense? Definitely. So that's why I said inflation really is a gift mm -hmm. if you know how to use it. Exactly. So that's even more money back in your pocket because inflation yes. has risen prices and it's written is risen your your bottom line. It's risen your bottom line, but using the tax zero plan, you know how to cross reference it and drop your your increase your deductions, which then bring more money into you. Correct. Okay. Mm. Wow. 
So, okay, so you only, you only legally can pay what you owe then. I mean, like down to the penny, like no more than what you legally owe. That's my point. That's my point right there. I want people to be informed and actionable to only pay the IRS what we owe them. First of all, we are first fired, last hired, and we always make the least amount of money. I don't care if we have degrees, which I've got out of the yang. I don't care about certifications because when I had that, that W-2 job, the mental assault that I dealt with going in and me maintaining, me maintaining my sanity and finally walking away one day going, you know what, this is, this is really not my world. These are not my people. And when I let that all go and found the freedom here in this, that's why I said this is a grassroots. You know, I'm looking for people who are going to join the team and not only help themselves, because we all have those moments in our lives when, because of whatever choice we made, it changed the trajectory of our lives. We all have those moments. Yeah. I'm clear this could be one of those moments. But it's only one of those moments when you act on it and not just think about it. Because we all got the books where we went to the seminar and did the thing and felt really good. Right. We didn't act on it. Hmm. So we still got that void. Right. And as long as you don't take advantage of what's available, that's where my grandma comes in. You do better when you know better. If you've heard this bell ringing, you can't unring it. But the question is, what are you going to do about it? Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, so I, I want to say before I forget. So if you're only paying what you legally owe, then illegally you're paying what you don't owe. Perfect segue. I love talking to you. I'm coming back to your show. So, <laughs> Thank you. so 74% of those individuals who are 1099s do not take advantage of the tax codes. So that automatically means that the IRS is taking advantage of 74% of the people mm. who don't use the tax code. And they're not going to tell you that because- No, they're not. Because they want the money. It's business. Yeah. It's business. Mm -mm. Mm. So, wow. yeah. So, you know, you do better when you-, you you do better when you know better. And if you don't know, I tell people, people think that education is expensive. It's really not. Ignorance is what costs you. That's what you pay for. You pay for the thing that you don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Okay. People going to college, furthering their education, that is a tax write-off? It can be. Let me tell you how and why. Okay. Let's say that I'm teaching a course and that course will help you in your business. Let college students even, and mm -hmm. I say this to college students. So the course that we offer, it actually can be considered a, a collegiate course. It is a higher level course. Okay. I'm going to switch gears on you. Okay. As a senior executive trust officer, I also work with people in trust creation. That's mm -hmm. another show. That is not this show. Got to put everything you own in that trust, baby. Go ahead. I know about that one. Yes, 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 yes. Anything that appreciates goes there. Mm -hmm. and, and I tell people when we're doing that, that's like taking Lego blocks and creating something completely different. It's amazing. But that's another show. Yeah. But back to education. We have gone towards college students to say, hey, listen, take this course and then you can go back into the community and you can have these conversations with your grandparents, with business owners. And that's how they write this off. Mm. You are going to a and I've done the four year like I have my master's in IT and, you know, my bachelor's in security. So, you know, yeah, I got all of those things. And yet, what is it? Because I couldn't use it. If I can't use it, if I can't use it to show how it's going towards exactly. something, exactly. Yeah. So it's not a write-off. Not a write-off. 
I got you. It has to further what you're already doing or what the field that you're already in. Right. So you're going into. Right. So if you have that side hustle, if you have that gig, if you have that thing where you're getting paid the 1099, if you're a consultant and you're in school and you do this thing that you can write off because it is supporting the business, which is in turn supporting you. Mm -hmm. It's all Mm -hmm. in how you couch it. It's, Mm -hmm. it's, it's possible. It's like, like this course, the trust course could be a Mm write-off. The trust creation is a write-off. The tax zero plan sets you up. The tax zero plan is what we call an inroad. Because when I start talking about trust, people kind of get that glazed over look. They got to be ready for that conversation. But the tax zero applies to like 143 million people. So again, 74% of 143 million people are being taken advantage of because of their, or because of what they don't know. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And that's where the big corporations like Amazon get over on paying zero because they know the tax laws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't get mad at them because we got the same opportunity. There you go. You lead, you have incredible segues because I tell people, Having used what you just said, if you don't take advantage of this plan, you don't get to wind to me. That's right. Because there is some effort on your part. There's some effort on my part. And that's where the contract and the handshaking comes in. Mm -hmm. This can help you. You decided or not to take advantage of it. And now we move and we bounce off. That's right. Wow, but wow. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, we are making it available. We are making it reasonable. And all you have to do is, you know what? That ties back into my other questions that I was trying to ask you where I got distracted. Mm-hmm. So the third question uh, is, do you think it can be a start in closing the income equality gap? That's big on my that's big on my list. You know, I really do think so. I think okay, because a person could think that they're kind of falling behind or even in debt to the point where they're they're kind of like freaking out a little bit. But if they were to use this code, they're actually not falling behind. They're actually moving forward. They're moving forward. They're moving forward. And like anything, it's a learned behavior. Once you get this, especially, did you, um, you knew, you know, that if you have a small business, children between the ages of six and 18 can work for you. You can actually write them off. They can get paid $12,500 that'll go into their IRA. Yes. So if they start that at six, where are they going to be at 18? Mm, A house. They're going to be ready to go. (laughs) They're going to be ready to go. That's right. So again, these are the ways that, like I was, I was talking to a young lady, surgical tech nurse. She made 120,000 last year. She thinks she's going to hit 140 this year. She had no write-offs. She's a 1099, but she had no write-offs. So we talked about the 74, how to get her there. And then we talked about the 2,500 that she could put in as a solo 401k. So now we've taken that 140,000 that she didn't have any write-offs for, reduced it down to about 50,000 that she's going to have to pay taxes on. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you don't pay taxes on everything. There is a taxable in, a taxable income. Mm-hmm. And, and the whole thing is not taxable. Am I correct? Yes. Huh. I don't think we, most people know that, though. I, I can assure you they don't. And it's not their fault. Mm-hmm. You have to understand that none of this was made for us to know. I can tell you that there are times when I'm getting uh, Facebook leads and someone puts in their information and then I start talking to them and it's amazing how they respond. And I, and I say to them, no, I'm just responding to your inquiry about how I can help you. Right. So, wow. what, yeah, when I, when I say, that's the only way I got your information. I didn't like do a robo call and you popped up. You actually put this information in for me to call you and us to have this conversation. Yeah. The biggest hurdle for us is understanding. And when I say us, I'm saying women, 
Right. You know, 53% of women run the household. The husband brings in the money, but the women actually run the household. We're 50% of the population. So we know how to run money. What we don't know is how to use it to our advantage because all money is, is a tool. That's it. Yeah. And, and the other analogy I use is like having a hammer and a saw. If you want to nail something, you don't use the saw. Right. If you want to cut something, you don't use the hammer. But if you don't understand how to use both, you just might as well hit yourself in the head because, you know, you're lost. Wow. Everything is a tool. You just have to know how to use it. Goodness gracious. So you can get more money back at the end of the year. You can learn how a lot of the things that you're already doing you're not taking advantage of in those tax laws. Absolutely. And you have uh, to look back. I'm not going to say you have a year or two, but I'm just going to say, just check it out um, and find out. I'm not really, I, I don't know how many years back you can claim it. I know that um, they do give you an opportunity to claim back, but I don't know how far. But I don't, I, no. and I, th- I, don't, I don't know, I don't know either, but I'm sure that you can at least, I think, it's either one or two years. I, I think, think it's one or two years. Yeah, it's not further than two years, but I think it's either one or two, or two years. I know they do ask you, do you have something last year you didn't claim this year? I always see that, but yes. I don't know if you can go the year before, but I'm not sure. So don't quote me or, or uh, you know, uh, anybody on that one. Just kind of search it out for yourself. Or how can people actually get in contact with you so that they can actually learn more about this zero tax thing? I mean, what is it called again? Girlfriend, pay nothing, tax get more back, zero, and wait till tax, money zero, <laughs> <laughs> Give my money. No, tax, my money. Ta- it's called the tax zero plan. We cross-reference each of your deductions. An example that I gave you was the section 162C1. That's what we do for each item that you have a deduction on. We cross-reference it. And I will also share this with you. Mm-hmm. We have CPAs and certified financial planners. They come to us. When they can't figure things out, they come to us. Because people ask me, oh, are you a financial planner? I'm like, we are not in the same league. No. What we offer coming in the door, you're going to get a tax deduction on it. We are the only program that offers that. When you come on board, what you just spent your money on, you get to write that off. And if we don't do what we say, we will double your money back. Mm. That's never happened. Nope. We've never given anybody any money back because, again, they take what we give them and they run with it. Miss Neil Clinton, girlfriend, you didn't mess me up. <laughs> in a good way, I hope. In a very good way. Oh, because good. I realized that, you know, there's a lot of things. And I did some write-offs. You know how it is. You do your standard write-offs or whatever. You claim this. You got this. You got this car that weighs more than that. You can claim that too. I mean, there's all different kinds of things. But I did not claim education. And let me tell you something. I read books, audio books. I have subscriptions to books that further my education. I'm taking courses. I'm getting certifications. And I never knew that that was also a write-off. And there's just so many other different things that we're probably missing out on. And I want people to actually go ahead and contact you because this is just amazing. It is. It really is. Um, you can go to AfricanAmericanTrust.us. You can fill it out there. You can go to Facebook. You can find me there, African American Trust. You can, uh, my email address, you can put all that stuff up at the end of the show, right? Yes, I want to definitely put that up and in the description box below. So that's easy for you guys to go ahead and get that. You know how it works here. Definitely. Definitely. Man, I tell you, you I mean, you know, I thought, you know, that uh, I'm worth more than what I thought. I'm just kind of thinking on the numbers now. Sister, you didn't help the sister out. I feel better about myself today. Can I leave, Can I have two more questions that I want your listeners Definitely. to think about? Definitely. Here are the extra bonus questions. Do you think that every African-American can benefit from this plan? Oh, yes. And the final question, I'm sorry, no. Do you think it's important that we should know about this plan. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh hence, yeah. Hence my being on your show. And the final question, if getting this information in front of all of our people should be a crusade, I'm asking that you join. Join me 
in this grassroots movement to create, I tell people, I look at this as a quiet storm. And by the time everybody is aware, I look at us already cresting and it's too late because we own that space now. That's what I'm, 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 I'm shooting for. I'm asking that you take the steps to do what you need to do and not let the ignorance beat you in the head. Yeah, that's the ignorance stick. I've been beaten a few times. As have I. Yes. As have I. I've been beaten a few times. But, you know, it gets lighter as you get older. And when you have people like yourself that want to educate and teach, that stick kind of gets put up in the corner into um, maybe like an antique kind of thing. And just it's a memory. It, a it, display it, case. It served its purpose when it was that's there. Right. We say thank you, but yeah. we've moved on now. Right, right. And that's what we need to do with taxes. We need to not run away from them. We need to know how to lose, use those use those tax laws and, and, and help ourselves get ahead. And you may just be further along than you really, truly think. Oh, wow. I want to thank you, Miss Neil Clinton, for being on the show. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out that information in the description box below so that you too can run towards yes. IRA. Yes, baby. And until next time, guys, don't forget to dare to be different. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.